new videos every day. Hi, I'm your teacher, Amy, and today I'm going to be giving you interesting facts about the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is kind of like a radio station. It emits really strong radio waves that can be detected from Earth. Now, scientists aren't really sure how the planet does this, but they think that it originates from deep inside the planet. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and it is the fifth planet away from the sun. How big is Jupiter? Jupiter's diameter is almost 89,000 miles across. It's so big that it can fit almost a thousand Earths inside. Jupiter takes a really long time to orbit the sun. In fact, it takes Jupiter 12 hours to make one full orbit around the sun. Something interesting about Jupiter is that despite its very large size, it only takes 10 hours to make a complete spin. So, a day on Jupiter is only 10 hours long. Jupiter is made up of mostly gases such as nitrogen, helium, hydrogen, and water. Some scientists believe that Jupiter's core is actually made up of some small solid rock. Jupiter is 71% of all the mass of the planets in the solar system. So this means that you can take all of the planets in the solar system, put them inside of Jupiter, and you'd still have room for more. If you look at a picture of Jupiter, you'll see different types of bands or stripes. These are kind of like storm fronts or currents. They're actually gas moving in opposite directions. So you know that big red spot on Jupiter? What's well, actually a big storm, something like a cyclone or a hurricane, and that storm's been raging for over 300 years. The big red spot on Jupiter is twice the diameter of Earth. So imagine a storm big enough to swallow Earth whole. We have no way of determining the temperature of Jupiter's core. But scientists have been able to measure the temperature in Jupiter's clouds, and it, they came up with minus 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists have estimated that the core inside of Jupiter is about four times the size of Earth. Jupiter is made up of mostly gas, but the closer you get to its surface, it becomes more and more dense. So you have the solid core on the inside, and then on the outside you have the gas. And in the center, you have a sea of liquid hydrogen. Scientists have been able to detect lightning in the clouds on Jupiter. When the spacecrafts they use get close to Jupiter, they can pick the lightning up by hearing the crackling and static sounds that it makes on the radio. In 1990, some scientists believed that Jupiter had around 39 moons. But now, due to improved observation technologies, they discovered that Jupiter has at least 64 moons. Jupiter has a huge gravitational pull. For example, if a huge mass of something came towards Jupiter, it would grab onto it, pull it into its orbit, and make it into a moon. Scientists believe that this is how Jupiter has gotten most of his moons. Like Saturn, Jupiter has rings around it, and it's made up of dust and tiny meteoroids. Jupiter has four rings around it, but only three are visible. The visible ones are called Gosmer, Halo, and the Inner Ring. Scientists believe that Jupiter is essentially a sun without nuclear reaction to ignite it. So those 64 moons around Jupiter could possibly become planets if it's ignited. Coming up, fun facts about the planet Saturn. Coming up in another video, facts about the history of pantyhose and stockings. Please rate my video, and if you have any suggestions for things you'd like us to do videos on, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe or the blonde gets it. You don't want to make her cry, do you?
Just please hit the yellow, yellow button, please. is that it takes only 10 hours to make a complete spin. So a day, a, oh. Okay, so a day on Jupiter is only 10 hours.